Hello everyone, it's Miss Gabby from Miss Gabby's Art is Good Studio and today we are going to draw a snow globe. This is week two of the East Suburban Citizen Advocacy Winter Series um, draw, Saturday morning drawing classes. And today we're going to be doing a snow globe. <clears throat> um, what you need is something round to trace to get your globe, or you could always do your circle freehand as well, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna start with tracing our circle or putting our circle um, on our page first. So center your circle, put it as far to the top of the page as it will go. And then I want you to trace around that. Okay, get a nice smooth circle going all the way around. Now, once you do that, then I want you to put your pencil on the lower left corner of your circle and we're going to make a curved line and we're gonna take that curved line all the way off of our paper. So, it, and we're keep these lines nice and light, okay? Cause we're gonna be erasing this eventually. So we're gonna go over to the right, left side, and then we're going to go over to the right side and do it again. Curve it ever so slightly, curve right off the paper. Now, following the flow of this beautiful circle we've got going on, I want you to keep the flow of that and I want you to make two more lines, two more curved lines. Go with the flow, back and forth till you get one line, and then one more. Underneath it. Now you're not going to see the bottom of your snow globe because it's going to go off of the page. So we're only going to see, we're going to see a good bit of it, but not the whole thing. Okay. Now put your pencil on the point right underneath your circle, right here where you started. And I want you just to come out a little bit. Just give this a little bump. Go from one point to the next. Bump, a little curve, a little bump. And then take that bump, go right off the paper. Okay, and repeat those three steps again. On the other side, make a bump, bump, bump. Now, this straight line that we made, we or curved line that we made, we don't need that anymore. So we can erase that line. So let's take a minute and erase that line. And now we have the basin for our snow globe. Okay, so now we're gonna go up to the top of our snow globe. We're gonna go right into the middle here and we're going to make a wavy line all the way across. Doesn't have to be even. It can be uneven, a little higher on the one side, a little lower on the other side. That's okay, no worries. Think of snow mounds, they're never even. 
Some are higher, some are lower. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our um, house, start with our house. And we're going to start with, if you look here, we're gonna start with our roof first, okay? So let's make right above, like maybe three finger widths above that wavy line, we're gonna make a straight line going across. And you can decide how long and how wide you want this line to be for your house. This is your house, so how big do you wanna make your house? Coming off of the sides, we're gonna have two diagonal lines. And then we're gonna connect line one way to the other one side to the other side we're gonna connect it now your wavy line your li your snow line is going to go through your roof at some point so this line right here that goes through your roof any wavy line that goes through your roof any part of that line I want you to erase because your roof is going to be in front of that snow. So you want to erase that. You don't need that anymore, okay? And then we're gonna make two straight lines coming down and you can decide how far down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me how far down you want your line to go. And then we're just gonna connect it. Okay, just gonna connect that line. <clears throat> now right in the center of your roof here I want you to make a triangle at the bottom of your triangle the bottom left corner I want you to take and make a straight line going all the way down till you get down to the bottom of your house. And then I want you to do that on the other side as well. Straight line all the way down. This line right here, bottom part of the triangle, we don't need that line anymore. So we're going to erase it. Now you can adjust your house if you want to make your, need to make your house a little wider or your door a little bit narrower to have some room on both sides for at least one window. You can do that. I always tell my students, the first mark you make on your paper isn't always that first mark that you keep. You tweak it, sketch it in, tweak it, sketch it, tweak it constantly changing, it's constantly evolving. Okay, now let's go above our uh, roof, our, our first roof here. And I want you to go, put your pencil on the left side of the roof, go up a little bit so it's like at least halfway. And then I want you to make a straight line and I want you to go above your roof right through your roof go just go right through it like at least a finger width more 
um, higher than your first roof, okay? Go on to the right side, make another straight line, go above that, and then make your triangle on top of that. Now, <clears throat> this line right here, we can erase. The line, the top part of the roof, that top straight line, we can erase that now. And you can decide, do you want your chimney up at the top here. You want a cute little skinny chimney up at the top? Or do you want your chimney to be down below on the first roof? That's totally up to you to decide. You could have it here, you could have it here, you could have it there, you could have two chimneys, doesn't matter. Wherever you wanna put that chimney. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the top. Um, but you, there's, there's so many options. Okay. All right, now, <clears throat> let's just start at the top and work our way down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame my roof. I'm going to put another thin line above outlining my roof. And then I'm gonna decide what window. I'm gonna make a rectangular window. By looking, I'm gonna add a curve, an arch to the top of it. So two straight lines, straight line on the bottom, but I'm gonna arch the top line. I'm gonna curve that top line. And then we're going to make a window frame around it. Same thing. <clears throat> and then if you want window, those lines in your window, you can make those lines. And you can also, if you want siding, make straight lines. Can you get down there? Okay. All right, now I'm going to repeat that process. I'm going to do the same thing. Take this roof now. I'm going to give it another frame. Give that roof a frame. Um, this time I'm going to give my give it a door and I'm going to make a door have an arch up at the top of my door here. So I'm going to make two straight lines. I'm going to make an arch. I'm going to make a half of a window on my door. Add the little baby circle for the doorknob. And then I'm going to add some lines. 
window lines going through. Now up at the top here, you can do just a decorative, smaller triangle. Or you could do a sign, whatever you want. Okay. And then on each side, let's make another window. Let's make another square window or rectangular window. I'm gonna make an arch on the top. Now once we make that arch, erase that straight line. Make your frame, your window frame. Make the paneling, the siding. If you want siding, you don't have to have siding. And then up at the top here, I'm gonna make some snow patches on my roof and all that consists of is wavy lines uneven wavy lines I'm just gonna make some patches And then once you make your patches, if you see you want to, you know, play around with it, make one bigger than the other, you can. And then with the rest of the um, roof that is showing through, we're just gonna make some straight lines for the roof for the shingles. And then we'll just make some lines. Okay. Showing the shingles. Make some waves coming out of your chimney for the smoke. You could also have some snow mounds, snow or snow hanging down off of the roof. And then you would just erase that straight line and make those waves, all uneven waves.
just play around. Really, you're just playing around with it. Now you are taking um, your house, the basic part. I, I gave you the foundation. Now you take and you decorate your house however you want it. Okay? It's nice and snowy. Okay, now let's go over to the bottom here and let's make some steps. So we're going to put two lines, two small lines, one on each side. We're going to go a little bit past the door and then we're going to make a straight line going across. And then we're going to do that second row. We're going to extend the line a little bit on each side. We're going to go down. Connect it. Extend it a little bit more on each side. Go down and connect it. Now, you may have it floating, okay? And that's okay because we're gonna come in off from the side here and we're going to make a snow mound that's gonna go right above the last step. Okay? And then on each side, we're gonna come in from the side and we're going to Go right over our corner, our left corner here. Make another snow mound. And then we're gonna erase that. Go over to our right side. Make another one. Erase that bottom right corner. Okay. And then we're going to make another wave somewhere in between the first and the second, and they're not even. They're both going to be uneven. This adds depth. Now, some of you may have done the trees before with me. But we're going to do the very simple triangular ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left side, probably almost all the way up to the top of our um, snow globe. And we're going to make a triangle floating in the sky. Then we're going to make another triangle underneath that triangle and another one until we hit our second or first mound, either one. We'll be able to erase that line. We don't need that line anymore, that wavy line that goes through our, um, our tree. And now I want you to go over, hold on a second. Drop my pencil. Okay, so now you're going to go over to your right side now. And you're going to do the same thing on your right side. So we're not gonna make the tree as tall this time. We're gonna make it a little shorter. And we're just gonna start with our triangles, work our way down till we hit our mound. Erase any 
line that's going through our tree. And then if we wanted to add some snow on each of our ends of our tree, we can just add some wavy lines to it. Now, once you have your trees in, the rest of your background then, this is a snow globe, so there's lots of snow. So we want tiny, small circles filling our background. Now we also, the snow is falling in front of our trees, in front of the house, in front of our steps, in front of our snow mounds. So now once we put it in the background, then we're gonna take those small circles and we're just going to continue to add them over top of our trees, our snow mounds, our house okay and you don't have to go overboard but just make enough that you see the snow going over in for this that the snow is in front of i'm sorry that the snow is in front of your house and your trees. Okay. Look at that, how cute I love. Perfect for a winter day. Now this middle part right here on your um, stand here, you want to name it. So I'm gonna name it Snow Day. So I'm just gonna write Snow Day. You can write your name. You could write whatever you want. If you wanted to do not write anything, don't have to. This is just if you wanted to. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, then you would go back and you would get your black marker and you would outline everything in black. So all those lines that you just made, you would then outline everything in your black marker. Once you're done with that, I'm going to show you how to shade your snow globe. We're gonna have a little reflection on our snow globe. So we're gonna have a curve line right here. And it can go right over your tree. It doesn't matter. That, that can go right over there, okay? And also what you wanna do, you don't wanna draw this with your pencil, but you just want to, I am going to just show you, but you just wanna keep a nice thin white line around the edge of your snow globe, okay? The whole way around, you wanna keep that a very thin edge, okay? 
And then you're gonna get your two colors. You're gonna get your blue, and then you're gonna get a darker blue. And we're gonna start in the center with our blue, our light blue. And we're gonna push a little harder than normal, okay? And then as we come out, as we go out toward the edge of our snow globe, and the closer you get to the edge, you're going to start to lift up on it. You're not going to be, be as heavy. Okay, you're going to lift up on your pressure. And it's not going to be as dark. Okay, and you're just going to continue and do this the whole way around. You're all you're going to go around your little snow um, balls that you made. You're not going to get rid of those. You're going to still have those. And then as you go out Toward the edge of your snow globe, you're just going to get lighter and lighter. And by the time you hit that edge, you are just glazing right over your paper. You're really just hardly putting any pressure onto the paper. It's it's so very light right around this edge here. Gonna get lighter and lighter. Lift up on that pressure. Okay, and then we have a little bit on this side. Hit hard against your tree and then just lift up on it so you go out to the edge. All right, and then with your darker blue, you're gonna go right into the center here 
and you're not going to take it any further out than the dark area that you, this dark area in the middle. You're going to concentrate your dark blue in the center. Okay, you may not even see the blues on the, the dark blue on the side. The mainly, your main focus is the center. So this center circle here, like all of this would be the dark blue. So you're really only going to see like pretty much that, the dark blue. Put a little bit of a dark blue, not a whole lot. But just a very little underneath your um which you call your uh, highlight reflection and then when you go down to your snow down here and you go to color that in Darker down at the bottom, later up at the top. Okay. And then once you have this in, then you can finish coloring in your house and your trees. Okay, that's the base of your snow globe. So you're going darker down the bottom, lighter up at the top. Okay. And get real light in the back here. Remember, leave that. Leave that white edge all the way around. I accidentally colored it in on my first mound.
Okay. And then to color in your base, you can use whatever color you want. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna make your left side and your right side. You're gonna push a little harder with your crayon or colored pencil. And then all the way up at the top here. And then as you come into the middle, you're gonna lift up on it. So your sides are gonna be a little bit darker so that they show that roundness, so that it shows that it's curving around. So you're gonna be a little darker here, a little darker on the edges here. And then as you come into the middle, lift up on it. Okay. And then the same thing down at the bottom here. And in, it'll depend on how much room you have. So you may see some, you may see just slightly, look how I just have a little bit on each side. And that'll just depend on how big you drew your circle and where you put it on your paper. So everybody's is gonna be different and that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take purple and outline. And then you can color in the rest of it. You can color in your house however you want. You can color in your trees and your um, your steps, whatever you want to do after that, okay? And that's it, guys. It's pretty simple. It's very, it's fun and, and um, you can get as creative as you want on your house and even on your trees and put lots of snow in the background for the snow globe and there you have it so you can um find more of my um my drawing lessons on um, my youtube channel and also on my website at www.missgabbysartstudio.com Go there for the full schedule, and I look forward to drawing with you again. So have a great day. Bye, gang.